So it's too hot for gardening, so I thought I'd do you a quick seedling update video. It's the time of the month, and it's a real struggle <laughs> at the moment to uh, keep these seedlings healthy. Anyway, let's take a look at them. So we've got lettuces here, quite a few different varieties. Really, I wish I'd got these planted out, but it's just far too hot to be planting lettuces out. So I'll be planting them out on Monday, when hopefully we'll get a bit of rain. And I've got some tatsoi and some various different types of pak choy there. And I've got some mizuna and some red pak choy. And again, these are all well overdue being planted out. Fortunately, because they've been kept in the conservatory, there's not too much pest damage on them. That's not, unfortunately, the case with the brassicas. I'll show you those in a minute. And then here... I'm trying to germinate lamb's lettuce, but it's just nowhere cool enough for it really. So I think I might have to re-sow these. But uh, yeah, boiling hot. And I've got some celery here. It's not germinated yet. And then we've got the brassicas. So all different types of brassicas here. Lots of different kales, kalans, spring cabbages, collards, and all of that sort of thing. I put all the details up actually down the side so you can see what all these different seedlings are. Um, but as you can see, you know, we, we have got caterpillar damage on some of these. Um, it's not too bad. I just, every day or so, spot a caterpillar and take it off. Um, you know, they'll grow out of it as long as it's not, not too bad. Um, but these aren't ready to go out yet but I've got nowhere really, nowhere good for them. It's too hot outside. And uh, yeah, I've got really no good shady spots really to put anything in the garden. So everything's just kind of melting here, like me in the conservatory. And then I've got some Asian spinach here. Again, desperate to go out really. I'm just hoping it doesn't go to seed, you know, because obviously this is kind of you know the sort of temperatures where it would normally go to seed and that's why I'm keeping it again indoors keep the light intensity levels as low as possible just keep it going until next week so I have got a few things out on the patio mainly onions uh, anyway I'll just quickly go through so we've got some Tokyo cross here these are uh, a turnip and the previous batch is actually growing fairly well outside. Uh, I've got some guardsman salad onions, some ramrod salad onions, some leela salad onions, and then some radishes. And I'm just starting to germinate my, probably what would be my last batch of um, kales. And I'll probably grow those under cover in a lotal so they get planted out in September. So the middle of September cover will probably grow over them in October. And uh, we'll see how those do. And then I've got some more salad onions there. And I've still got more salad onions to come. And these are my late peas. So again, these will be going out hopefully on Monday. And I've just got a bit of salad rocket there that's just germinating. So I do have a few things still to sow this month. And fortunately it's going to have cooled down by the time I need to sow these. So I've got some more uh, leela. Uh, the first batch that I just showed you were for salad onions, but this batch is going to be for bulbing onions to be harvested sort of June time. And I've got some guardsmen, my favorite of the salad onions. And then a few varieties of red pak choy and joy choy and tat soy and this is what I think of as my main crop sowing of the Asian greens the ones that get planted out in September and then we'll eat these all the way through until late winter normally at least January time um, and that's why I think of them as the main crop because they're the most productive and longest lasting uh, crop of Asian greens and then my first sowing of a true spinach so the previous one that you saw uh, was an Asian spinach slightly less likely to bolt 
than a true spinach so I always leave my true spinach until about the middle of August I'll have lots of successions of true spinach going all the way through until the middle of September and then minus lettuce I've got two batches of this one that's going to go outside this one and then a later one that you'll see in a minute that's going to go in the polytunnel and then radish lots of just successions of radish and turnips I think maybe this is my last succession of turnips actually um the uh, yeah it's hard to get them to a good size uh, after about the middle of august where i am at least and then quite a few lettuces these are my autumn crop of lettuces and then i'll take over with the winter crop which will start harvesting about middle of november something like that from the polytunnel so all the classics here flashy butter oak Grenoble Red, uh, Rikia, Canasta. None of these, and Navarra, I think. Some of these don't do particularly well uh, over winter for me. Stay alive, but they're not very productive. So I do switch over to the winter varieties. And then lamb's lettuce. This is the replacement for the stuff that I've already sown, but I'm not really confident it's going to germinate because of the heat. Uh, some more salad onions and desert sunrise which is a bulbin onion which i'm hoping to be the earliest bulbin onion that i can grow from seed uh, so hopefully we'll be eating that sort of late may june time uh, we'll definitely have run out of red onions by then so uh, hopefully we'll have some fun there and some more lamb's lettuce and more salad onions and that second batch of miner's lettuce and then tough ball which is a white bulbin onion it's my favorite and although we like red onions the most it's still nice to have some white ones and you can get the white ones just a little bit earlier i think than you can get the red ones so given that we're about to we will definitely have run out of onions by mid-spring next year we want to try and get them as early as possible and then as i said more varieties of spinach <laughs> 